Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today we are bringing you a quick, fun, easy dessert recipe. So Allison and I are going to be making the Hungry Girl Rice Krispie Treats for one recipe. And if you look behind us, you'll see that we have enough for two. So we have two individual servings ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and this is gonna be a super quick, fun, easy recipe. So you only need three ingredients. The first ingredient, you need one and a half teaspoons of light butter or margarine. So today we're using the Country Crock Light Margarine. The next thing you need is you need 18, one, eight, 18 mini marshmallows. Pretty simple, right? And then, don't judge me. I know that <laughs> I know that it's April, but I have the holiday colors of the Rice Krispies. So I was gonna make Rice Krispie treats at Christmas, and I didn't didn't get around to it. But these are good until October of 2020, so they're still good. We just opened them today, but I just thought it was really funny that. I knew I had Rice Krispies, but I, I didn't realize that the only ones that I had were the holiday ones, but they're still going to taste the same. So all you need are those three ingredients and a half a cup of this. So half a cup of this, 18 mini marshmallows, and one and a half teaspoons of light margarine. That's it. Five smart points, all three plans, so you can't go wrong there. So let's go ahead and get this recipe started. We're going to throw our margarine, I went ahead and pre-measured that, into the microwave with our marshmallows. So we're just going to pour our marshmallows right into our bowls. And I'm going to put the first one in our microwave for 30 seconds. And I figure we just go ahead and do this real time. Um, I'm not sure if you can see above us for the, for the microwave, but I just figured we'd just go ahead and do it real time since it was so quick. So I'm going to grab two spoons here. I'm going to move a couple things out of our way. I'm going to double check the camera angle really quick. I might bring you guys in closer, so just bear with me one moment. I'm stopping it. Okay, so I'm going to pull the first one out of the microwave, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to set this one down. We're going to pop the next one in. Hopefully it's not too loud. That one 30 seconds. So the only thing we're gonna do, let me get you guys in here so you can see. I'm gonna tilt you down just a bit. There we go. So the only thing that we have to do now is we have to just mix the cereal in with the rice crispy or with the marshmallows and the butter. And that's it. And then we're just gonna press it all together and bam, you have a rice crispy treat. How cool is that? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna Press it down in your bowl once you get it all mixed together. And then we're just gonna press it down and you're gonna let it cool for 10 minutes and that is going to form your Rice Krispie Treat. I'm just gonna pull hers down. We're gonna do the same thing. She's gonna pop it in. She's gonna stir it up. And I told you guys, this was gonna be quick and easy. I mean, you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and press mine down just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna set this off to the side and just let it cool down. Once 10 minutes is up, then we're gonna come back and we will show you our finished product. I'll probably just pop it out onto a plate. How's yours coming over there, Allison? It's like stuck. Okay, stir fast. I'm trying. Hers is super sticky. That's awesome. All right, so we'll be back 10 minutes and we'll show you our final product. Okay, so I tried to pull it out of the bowl and it still did not really form a Rice Krispie treat. So I'm gonna do in a second attempt to see if maybe there's too much butter in it. Maybe I overmeasure the butter, so that could have happened. So we're gonna try another one. So I went from one and a half teaspoons of butter to one teaspoon of butter. So this is what we have. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this one with the same amount of Rice Krispies. Maybe I should stir this first. Let me stir that first and then maybe put those in and see if that helps. All right, that might be a little more, a little better consistency. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push this one down. Let's see if I can get this to form. It's nice and sticky now. I'm gonna burn my finger. Oh, my finger's right in the way, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna see if I can get this to push down a little bit and see if this one will form a, a better Rice Krispie treat for us. All right, I guess that's good. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this pushed down and then we'll go from there. I'll be back in 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, and we'll see if this one works out better. There's gotta be a trick, right? Ah, my fingers are sticky. All right, so there we go. Sorry if it's off center a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what do you think? Do you think we have a success or not? So I'm gonna put a plate out here. I'm gonna grab my fork back. I haven't touched it. So let's see, ooh, this one's better. I'm trying to gently just pull it out of here and onto our plate. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I think, you know, it, it's going to be a little sticky. I think if I let it sit here for just a few more minutes, I think it would be perfect. So what do you guys think? You guys like the little holiday colors in there? I like it. All right, so I already tasted the other one. I think it's pretty good. I think this one is going to be amazing. Somebody's dropping things in the background over there. So I will call this a win. I would definitely back down the margarine to one, ta one teaspoon and then stir it once it comes out of the microwave. That might have been in the instructions. I may have missed that. I'm gonna check that right now. Um, nope, it didn't say stir. So definitely stir it when it comes out so that you, you mix up the butter and the marshmallow and then dump your Rice Krispies in. So, all right, so I'm gonna call this a win. Allison, what do you say? Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, it worked. She's so shy today. She's giving me a thumbs up saying that yes, it worked and she's good to go. So I'm going to call this one a win. You guys should definitely try this one. I mean, a lot of the times we have these cereals in our house and you can do also do the measurements of the Rice Krispies and, and do the points. Compare that to something else. If you have a different type of cereal, you could always like mix this up. So have some fun with this. All right. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. And with that said, we will see you next video.